Hey friends, in today's video, we're working with PEX. This is great stuff. In fact, we're making this DIY PEX manifold. So I wanna show you one part in particular that has been really, really important for us. Okay, here is the hot water side of our DIY manifold. Now, as you can see, this comes in with three quarter inch PEX. This is gonna be attached up here. And again, that is where my hot water line comes in from the hot water heater. We're then gonna go down. I probably obviously need to cut this the size up top here. And then we go into our three quarter inch T's. And this is three quarter inch through here and then half inch out here to match my lines. And again, all I did is I looked at the amount of lines that I needed, but basically we have enough T's and these are all just really short pieces of PEX. Again, I used the red to match the hot water side. We've got our PEX clamps there, three quarter inch PEX clamps. And we are just basically getting in and making our own T so that water can flow down through here and then shoot off into these lines. And then again, we're gonna isolate these with some bell valves so we can turn those off if we desire. Okay, so we've dry fitted our hot side. Now again, these are all loose at this point. Again, that's what I mean by dry fitting. So what I can do is I can now actually attach them permanently to that T intersection. Okay, so the way this is going to work is I'm gonna take my little half inch PEX clamp. I can put it over the top of my PEX here, just like this. We're then going to slide this into place. And again, that PEX ring is then going to clamp down using our clampers onto here. Again, make sure you have enough space to clamp properly onto the brass over here. Here we go. That's nice and clamped on there. Everything should be nice and watertight now for that specific one. I'm gonna go ahead and do that for all of the rest of these over here on the hot side. Okay, just like that, we've got all of our lines into our main three quarter inch. So I really do recommend these brass tees. Again, three quarter inch to half inch is what we used. You can find them right on Amazon and they work really, really great. Hopefully that's helped you understand how to work with PEX just a little bit more. If you're interested in our full project, we'll put a link to the full video in the description box below. Thanks for watching, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, and we will see you again on our next project video.